Hello everyone and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Today, today we're at Brighton, we're going to go to Seaford, all stops in the um, a 314, reskinned to look like a, a 31. Oh my god, that uh, compressor's loud. Uh, a southern 314, let's get a touch of brakes on, let's get the doors open. I said let's get the master key in, reverse it to forwards, get the doors open. Uh, that kind of stuff turned on. Let's get the headlights correctly set. Let's get the guards key in. Let's get you done like that. Um, so there has been a bit of radio silence from me, you might say. Uh, that's because I broke my arm, as a few of you might know, uh, a week ago exactly. This time a week ago I was in hospital. Uh, it's all fine now. Thank you for all of the support. Um, for those of you who were already aware, uh, that was that was genuinely quite quite warming. Um, so I'm I'm fine. It's not so much a matter of pain now. It's a matter of just the awkward inconvenience of not being able to use your dominant hand, uh, which is tragic for most video games like Minecraft, GTA, Just Cause, all of that stuff. I can't play it at all. Um, but this game, you know, you only really need a few fingers and the ability to use a mouse, which is, it's all good, because I can do that. So, you know, I'll give it a shot, see how it goes. Uh, the other thing is, uh, and I want to make this crystal clear, uh, sorry if I don't sound as animated as usual, that's because um, I've got a broken arm. <laughs> um, but my upload schedule is going to be a lot more restricted, uh, so three videos a week. Um, let's get up to 25. Uh, three videos a week, two reskins, one scenario. Uh, that's just because I don't have that much time and or willingness at the moment to do daily uploads. Um, <coughs> so that that's that's just how how the world works um it's annoying it's annoying for everyone but you know, i'm not gonna put my health at risk uh unless my life is at risk which is a good way to live life um but yeah so that's my it's not a surprise um and i apologize about that if you were particularly looking forward to returning to normal uploads, but that's not going to happen, unfortunately. Um, there's not going to be a schedule either for the three videos that I do make a week. Um, so make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. That was slid in very well. Um, to, so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's just have a look where the back of the train is. Yeah, all good. All right cruise in now. So, um, that's, that's why I wasn't, haven't been around for a week. Um, it's quite a bad break. I broke my arm really, uh, go big or go home. Um, you know, I, uh, he got two bones in, it was my forearm. There are two bones in, them, in your forearm. I broke both of them. Normally you would only break one. And so, you know, that kind of holds the other one in place. But because I broke both of them, they both bones shoved themselves back up my arm. Um, so it had to be operated on to pull them back. And now I've got two plates and man many, many screws stuck in my arm. Um, and it makes you feel how great, it makes you realise how grateful you are to have, live in a country with free healthcare. Uh, and universal healthcare as well, because that would have cost thirty grand if I live in the states. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it really sucks. Um, interestingly, if for those of you who don't know, it didn't actually hurt that much. It was only really when trauma started uh, started getting trauma about um, twenty minutes after I broke the arm, still on my way to hospital. No, uh, you know, you start hyperventilating, you get higher blood pressure, and you start to feel the effects of carbon uh, carbon dioxide poisoning, which, you know, 
because you're hyperventilating, not getting enough oxygen into your cell, you're not getting your carbon dioxide out of your cell. So, um, and you feel all lightheaded and you struggle to breathe and whatnot, and that's where it really starts to get freaky. But, um, the break itself doesn't, didn't actually hurt when it happened, which is a good human reflex. It, it's only really afterwards that it starts to hurt, but by then you, I was in hospital, I had some pretty serious IV painkillers. Um, but yeah, no, so everything's fine. Um, <coughs> it's going to make life very interesting for the next little while. Um, and you know, I won't update you like every day because I have a life and I would like to keep most of it private because I'm not an influencer <laughs> um, but if something happens that will change the way this channel functions then I will let you know um, but like I'm not going to tell you which hospital I went to or any of that stuff because I have a private life, and I would like to keep that stuff private. Um, and please respect that as well. Um, and don't try and speculate either. Are we going to overrun this? We sort of are, but who cares? we also sort of hanging off the edge. Uh, it doesn't really count, I guess. Um, what else was I talking about? Oh, who knows? Uh, it, yeah, this livery is very nice. Um, very good livery. Uh, I would put a download in the description, but I couldn't be bothered to. Um, you know. I'm pretty sure on my uh, on the other video I did on this livery, uh, I put a link in it. I, I thought I'd uh, return to it, considering that the, you know the three one three might be getting slightly closer. Um, you know the nineteen thirty eight one definitely is. <coughs> London commuter definitely is. Um, that's oh that's another thing that I hadn't even thought of. Um, Train sim world two news will not go ahead. Uh, well, it, not like it won't go ahead. It, it's going to be suspended for a while until I can use the mouse with my right hand, which at the moment I definitely can't. I can barely rip bog roll apart with my right hand. Um, until I can use a mouse with my right hand, there is not going to be any kind of new anything heavily edited basically um, which also means that um, my second channel will not be having anything posted to it for the next month probably um, I have just finished a scan uh, I, I had just finished doing a scan like, when I broke my arm but, you know, I can't edit it at all at the moment. Uh, it's really hard doing virtually anything on my computer at the moment. So, um, except play this game. And I've been playing quite a lot of City Skylines. But any action game really is hard. Um, first person shooters are hard. Are very hard. Um, but yeah, no. I'm, I'm, it, it, it's going to be interesting. It's going to open quite a lot of doors, or oh, not really open doors, it's going to open my eyes a bit more to people who say, live like this their entire lives, you know, I feel for them now, I certainly do. Alright, so we've got a 60 limit coming up, it'll probably be alright for that. Uh, and I have got a pretty good idea as well of what liveries I'm going to do. Uh, for this channel, um, oh, for the next little while, but um, that's the other three one three. That's the only other, that's the only other train that we're going to see today. Uh, but I've got a pretty good idea of what I want to do. Um, in terms of videos to make, 
Uh, but as always, if you have any suggestions, please do drop them in the comments below. Um, and also join my Discord, it's got a lot more information on my arm, etc. And also, it's you know a good place to talk with your fellow subscribers. Alright, coming into Falmer. Okay, there's a nice long platform, which is good. And my word, London Commuter is going to be fantastic. Um, my only concern about it, though, is really Clapham Junction. Uh, I hope they layer some 166s on in the appropriate locations. I hope they layer... Sorry, my mouse pad that didn't affect anything. I hope they layer um, 375s as well as the 465s. I really would like to see a class 455 DLC. That would just be so cool. Um, and then, Dovetail probably wouldn't do this, but it'd be, you know, going the distance if they did. If they made a slightly altered one, just purely model-wise, and added a gangway on the front, and changed the livery, and when you get that DLC, you get some completely AI non-interactable trains in the um, southeast, uh, southwest, southwestern platforms at Clapham. Because uh, the southwest trains at Clapham operates about 36 trains per hour in each direction. Southern only operates about, no, the Southern and Gatwick Express combined only operate about 25 in each direction. So it's, you know, we're only getting less than half of the full um, throughput of that station and to have something southwest layered into that would be so cool but I'd settle for um, other southern stock being layered in and having the southeastern stuff happening at Victoria for people who have southeastern high speed is very cool and having um, they have said that they will layer in other things, so having some other things to layer in, like the 166 and the 313 when it eventually releases, that'll be very nice to have as well. Alright. And also there's been some speculation, um, because I haven't seen it myself, I haven't even really looked though, um, apparently... LNER uh, license, you know, licensing for LNER and Great Northern have appeared on the loadings on the like main menu screen where you see all the um, licensing stuff, all the, the copyright warnings, you know, the two brown or this copyright London Underground or Amtrak logo is copyright Amtrak, whatever. Apparently, there's now LNER and Great Northern in that licensing area so uh, you know it hasn't hit the roadmap yet but um, clearly something behind the scenes you know one thing I'd really really like to see is, would be uh, say King's Cross and Moorgate up to I don't know Cambridge or somewhere or not even Cambridge um, up to Stevenage or Cambridge, but having the Northern City Line would be so cool. With the three one three, even cooler. With the seven one seven, I wouldn't be mad at it, but the one three one three would be cooler and easier as well, um, which I think they'd go for. And maybe even we'd have an Intercity two two five or an Azuma. Uh, IET IEP. Or maybe they'll just go for a be boring and go for an HST. Not that HSTs are boring trains, but we've already got two other routes that have HSTs in them, like, namely West Cornwall Local 
and Great Western Express. Speaking of Great West, uh, West Cornwall local, um, it you know it sounds like it's got great potential. I'm not holding my breath though. I probably won't get it straight off the bat. I'll wait for it to go on sale because you know I'll wait for all the bugs to be discovered because there will obviously be some. It's you know if Rivet proves that they can make a good, well-made, well thought out route maybe the community will get more faith in them. But, so far, they've made, done pretty piss-poor efforts at both the Erosa Line and the Isle of Wight. There are still bugs that haven't been fixed, haven't been patched, um, in both of those routes, and they've been out for almost a year, Isle of Wight. Uh, and it, they, we still don't have indicator boards, uh, someone even did a mod for that, so it can't be that hard. Um, you know, all kinds of stuff's gone you know, pear-shaped, which is why the community has lost faith in them. Uh, but it, it has a lot of potential, seeing... Because we, we know, more or less, that we're going to get an HST. Uh, we know more or less that, well, we know for sure that we're going to get a Gangway 150, 150-2. We know that is going to be set in the early 1990s, so it's going to be British Rail era, late British Rail, so it'll be intercity and regional rail. Um... So, yeah, no, um... It has good promise as a route, but I'm and most of the community aren't holding our breaths. Um, it'll probably have teething problems, uh, as with most of Rivet's routes. Um, but yeah, what can you do? If it's done properly, it should be a spectacular route to drive uh, with spectacular trains. No. Original. Uh, original sprinters. The mighty HST with a Paxman Valenta engine as well, instead of the MTU bullshit that's on the. Uh, sorry, pardon our language. Uh, instead of the MT. the crappy MTU engines. Well, they're not crappy, they're good engines, but you know. They don't have the spirit, you might say, of. All the roar of the Valentas. The XPTs in um, New South Wales still have Valentas stuck inside them. Now, mind you, they're being replaced soon. And they don't need to go fast, so there's got a downrated um, Valenta. Downrated, yeah. Um, what else is there? 1938 stock, again, has good promise. Complete cash grab, though, if they charge normal DLC prices. Because, um, yes, I understand there are some niggly bits, like there's no windscreen, like differences to the Class 483 already on Isle of Wight. Like, you've got added a trailer coach in there. Um, the interior colours are slightly different, the cab's slightly different, the headlights. Um, destination board, everything else is slightly different. Yes, I accept. But overall, the model will be about 90% the same. And obviously the paintwork. Most of the effort for that route has probably gone to the timetable, I would say. Which is less less frequent than the base Bakerloo line. Um... What, what would be cool is if you had some, like, heritage runs or a scenario for the modern day that involved running heritage, um, you know, where everything was particularly busy, say, uh, as you were ride driving through... Yeah, no. I think... God, that was, like, anglicised Australian slang. Yes, no. Yeah, no, um, cash grab. At the very least, they could give a 
30% discount to people who have the Isle of Wight, which is another product of theirs. So, you know, if you buy the Isle of Wight first and then you get the, you know, they're getting money either way. Um, but the Isle of Wight is, even though it's my favourite route in the game, it is a flawed route in many aspects um, that you just have to deal with. But, uh, what else? London Commuter, as I said, looks awesome. Um, Sherman Hill, Altoona Curve, awesome, as I've said. Um, what else? Uh, there's been quite a lot of discussion uh, on the forums about the Steam update. Well, quite a lot of that was a thread, but it, you know, Matt commented on it. Ex the Matt, the exec commented on it, so you know it must be must be good. Um, yeah, I was thinking, why have we diverged off? No, we haven't. Uh, so just got a few more stops left because the stops are more further spaced out. Um, you know, yeah, asking how's this program, how's this project going? We've had a bit of radio silence, blah blah blah. And, you know, Matt responded saying, "Haven't given up. It's very fiddly." Um, we are most certainly still working on it. Uh, and it's probably, the time frame's probably somewhere around next year. Uh, which, you know, it's a whole new concept. You know, there's loads more moving parts to a steam train. There's loads more. Um, you know, it's very mechanical. Uh, everything's dependent on everything else. And, you know, you can simulate a steam train, but if you want to do it properly by, you know, using the physics of Simigraph, uh, which I presume everyone knows about. Simigraph's the way, like, how it's the game, this game will simulate the specific brake pressure in the brake pipe, how long the brake pipe is, whatever. And so that will affect the pressure exerted by the brakes onto the wheel, so that'll, and you know, how everything interacts. It's not just, you know, a code number in the code that says when player presses this, slow it slow the train down this much it, you know it simulates the air move well it doesn't simulate the air moving but it allows time for the brakes to fully charge and then a, a variations and other niggly bits uh, i don't even completely fully understand it but it's a very complicated system that increases realism and when you're getting that to work with a steam train again because you can just code a steam train to say when this happens do this or you can say it you know to have a chain reaction where every chain every link in that chain can be slightly altered by external factors uh, which is you know it's very difficult to do and it's very very rewarding at the end you know steam engines are uh, i prefer electric trains and diesel trains over steam trains but i do accept that they are really really particularly fantastic and, you know, glorious machines, you know. They've got so many intricate and unique moving parts. Um, so much thinking went into them. And they were actually very powerful as well. Um, they, you know, some of them were more, in, more powerful than, or as, certainly as powerful as internal combustion. Big Boy, the most powerful steam locomotive ever built. Like, uh, Big Boy is a family of identical locomotives. I've forgotten the class name. I look like a jerk just saying Big Boy. Um, but, um, you know, Big Boy's the family of locomotives is they've got very, very high power ratings. You know, higher than most modern diesel locomotives, even. Let's pull up to the S car stop. Nice. We're gonna hang off the end, but whatever. You know, one thing this game really does need is selective door opening, because <laughs> this is really tragic. You know, it's in Train Simulator, but the, you know. Oh, and I also turn the um the crosshairs off. But I can still, like, you know, use the mouse and right-click and I've got my cursor, but I turned crosshairs off. And I turned upcoming signal aspect off, so I know where the signal is, but I've got to actually look at it to see 
what aspect it is, but most of the time, you know, safety devices will tell you anything, well, particularly on this train, you know, I'll get pinged by AWS. So I know there's a signal coming up in two miles. It's un this is an unusual station not to have a starting signal, but it's not a particularly busy line, so I don't think it needs it. Um, but you know, you look at the signal and say, is it red? Now, if you arrive at a station and it's red, you turn the DRA on, of course, but yeah, whatever. Uh, speaking of DRA, I have one on my desk in front of me, which I shall now use. Um, but yeah, so the Steam update's going to be fun. I, I reckon, because a lot of people are saying, oh, I hope they do Big Boy first, but if you think about it, the amount of teething issues it, it, it is going to have, and it is going to have teething issues, um, being a whole new concept, and you know, that's acceptable. Nothing's going to work perfectly first time round. Um, but they're not going to go for something that massive and that complicated for a steam engine, especially, um, as the first. They'll probably go for a light shunter or other tank engine, maybe one of the um, slightly larger German tank engines, the 080s, or, um, you know, a shunter tank engine, that kind of stuff. Uh, be funny if we had some fireless locomotives in the game. Yeah, they just use a big tank of compressed air to drive the wheels. Uh, but yeah, so Steam update is looking fantastic. Uh, TSG's trains. Um, TSG's fairly. No, it is new to. Um, it, it is new to the to the franchise. Um, they've made quite a lot of routes for uh, Train Simulator, which all look good, but you know, that was the same story for River. So, you know, I want their I want their products to be very good. And I hope their products are very good. But I'm not gonna place bets because we all said our oh, Rivet's products were very good for train simulator. And the 204 was pretty pretty good, it was very nice. Um, yeah, it is very nice, uh, there's slight problems in places, like sound, but on the whole it was alright. Um, shut up. Um, but you know, if... As I said, I want their products to be good, I want to be able to enjoy their products, but if their products turn out to be bad, I won't be, you know, especially disappointed. You know, to be sad, but, um, you know, I wouldn't be, you know, I would say heartbroken, but that's the wrong word. You, you get what I mean. Uh, I hope you do. Because I'm not explaining it anymore. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Let's get off the brakes there. Don't want to be that going too slow. Oh god, the brakes on this thing release so fast. I think that was kind of blanket of peps in general. Uh, but yeah, so the 420 is going to be fantastic. The Ludmiller, the 232. I apologise if I pronounce that wrong, uh, which I probably almost certainly have. The Ludmiller is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, if it's done well, it'll be absolutely fantastic. First German mainline diesel in the game, as I've said many, many times. And I'm sure you're all sick of me saying. Uh, but that'll mainly just haul freight. Stop. Oh, whatever, who cares. We ju we're just hanging off the end as well, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um... What else did they make? Oh, the G6. Yeah, that's going to be very nice. Another shunter for um. Uh, forget. Well, I forgot what route it is. I haven't. Yeah, you know, I have to rewatch my own video. Um. But yeah, no. So that's looking very nice as well. God, look at all the tech string for this. You know, Rivet's also been very um, poor in communicating to their customers and you know they 
they knew they were in the doghouse after the Erosa line continues to develop more and more bugs with um, Russia. Mm. The timetable is completely unplayable. Like, it's, it's not unplayable, but it's impossible to keep to. Um, the physics are now very, very broken to the point where it more or less is unplayable. Uh, the sounds are broken sometimes. Stuff's just wrong. Uh, the scenery is absolutely hopeless. But, you know, and they, they, they knew they were in the doghouse, so they came out and said, We've been working with Dovetail Games to do the scenery for Cathcart. Aren't we great and amazing? And it's like, yeah, but you just about redeemed yourself. But you don't have any, you know, you're not better now. You're slightly less worse. No. The damage was already done. As some people would say. Are we... No, we're going to be hanging off the end of this one. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not even trying to... Fit as many doors in the platform. I'm just... Oh, that was two, not three. There you go. Just driving trains, because it's fun, and it's relaxing, and it's one of the few things I can do at this moment in time. And I genuinely do find this fun and relaxing, which is why I'm making these videos slightly longer than normal. Because it's fun. Keep crossing clear. Again, why doesn't it make noise? Make noise. Got a New Haven Marine in here. Oh, least used stations. Got a beautiful semaphore over there. Um, but yeah, maybe one of the first... Going back to the steam topic, maybe... I mean, this is an obvious one. The first steam route that they include would be a little light shunter. Oh, those rails. Those um, frog rails in there are completely buggered, aren't they? The ones in the crossing. Wouldn't like to drive over them. Uh, uh, sorry, going back to the topic of steam. Um, maybe the first steam engine that they release would be a DLC shunter for West Somerset Railway. You know, diesel steam shunter. Uh, not a diesel steam, a light steam, you know, tank engine shunter. You know, like we've got the 08 layered from uh, Tees Valley Line. We've got the 09 which came with the route. We have the 42. We have a lot of other things now, including, you know, the 101, the 37, and the 45, and the 47. Um, the BR Blue 47, that is. Uh, the 52 from both um, the Loco DLC and Diesel Legends. Uh, all of this other stuff that's been layered on top. It's a very, it's it's very, you know, alive for a heritage route, and I think having a steam engine on that will be fantastic. Um, what else is coming? Please don't clip that. Please, 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 please don't clip that again. Um. I have to check on the roadmap. Oh, was that a dead zone? It must have been. Coming through the abandoned station. Dovetail live. Because uh, there was a new roadmap. Um, but London commuter is still a little while away. Which is a shame. But uh... Oh, the Meissen branch. Yeah. Navicare Dresden's getting a little bit buggier, but, you know, do knowing Dovetail, they will actually fix those bugs. So, you know, I'm giving them a chance to fix them. Because uh, some of the, um, you know, with new systems, there will be teething issues. And I accept that. Uh, but, you know, there are, have been some slight issues. 
with the timetable and with trying to load into a service in the timetable. Right, we're going to be hanging off the end here. This is a very long train, actually, for this line. Yeah, there'd only be three cars long. I just thought longer is cooler, and it is. But, uh, oh, we might fit in here. Yeah, we will. Snug as a bug. Um, oh, that's the wrong side. Um, oh, that's going to close both of the doors, isn't it? Yeah, because both of the door closes connected to my button. That took a while to uh, to get through my thick skull. Um, so coming soon. Uh, oh, upcoming. Sorry, is mice and branch main spec up barn scenario planner expansion rush hour for the Bakerloo line. Some of this may have already be. Oh no, there's nothing in next arrival, is there? Uh, rush hour for Colnarkin, the baby bullet scenario planner. My baby, b oh, uh, probably consist wise. Okay. Um, Peninsula Corridor Preservation. Um, the 38 stock. Obviously, it's one of the bigger ones because it's a DLC. Let's not overpower the motors, shall we? Um, Rush Hour Passenger System and the BML. Uh, which is very nice. Oh, would have been really cool if they included the um, the well, multilingual announcements for Gatwick Express and also swap out the 387 for the 442 which was the ultimate super god of that line the plastic pigs um, you know in the in production is the 313, so it hasn't moved up yet. This is this week's um, scenario, by the way. And you got Skyhook's 187. Skyhook also is a brilliant example of a third party developer who has released the route and whose route contains a few bugs, yes, but are very easily patchable. And the route itself is beautiful and very nice and very enjoyable to drive. You know, Cane Creek is a genuinely very nice route. Uh, I better hurry up this because we're approaching the last stop. Uh, we got the 420, which we talked about. We got the 232, which we talked about. We got the G6, and we got West Cornwall Local. Um, we got Sherman Hill and the Horseshoe Curve. And we've also got, you know, the speculations of an LNER Great Northern route, um, which is probably a long way down the track. You know, considering I'm not sure if Nor Norfolk Southern's even on the, uh, or um, well, Union Pacific would be anyway, but I'm not even sure if Norfolk Southern appears on the menu screen. I shall check that uh, after this. But yeah, thank you guys. Oh no, we've still got to unlock the doors. Uh, but yeah, so nothing else is really happening. Nothing new. But you know, they don't announce a new a new route every week. And you know, it's not spec it's not massive news when they do announce it. It's bigger news when they announce, you know, that a new route is, you know, moving along in progress and then provides screen you know, the screenshots are what everyone's on about, you know. Should probably also grab some uh, screenshots myself talking about screenshots. Let's grab some, you ninkum poop. Nice. Try and get more of the train in the shot. Yeah, nice. Okay. Lock the doors. See how we did. That's more points. Uh, eventually I'd like to get to 100,000 points and um, 10,000 kilometers. I'm very close to getting 10,000 kilometers driven, so uh, yeah. Um, I'm a level 155, love 156, so yeah, that's um, come a long way, huh? 
come a long way and nearly 700 hours of playing this game it's more than Antcraft who I'm sure will be well, probably not be but I'm, I'm sure it'll watch at some point um, anyway thank you guys for watching so very much it really does mean quite a lot to me that I've got so many people who do watch my videos um, and also thank you so much for the support uh, during this particularly difficult point in my life um, it, it really does help um, I'm not going to sit here and belittle those uh, supporting comments that you made they were really genuinely quite nice and uh, I want you to know that they were also genuinely well received so um, it sounds like I'm doing this on behalf of someone else no I, I, I really I, I really was quite moved by the amount of support I got uh, so thank you guys so very much for watching. Please do make sure you like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you all next time. I'm not going to say tomorrow because it probably won't be. Uh, but um, make sure you smash the bell so you do know when it is. When I, when I will upload next. Anyway, struggling to speak English. <laughs> so yes, goodbye.